My father died of a sudden heart attack when I was 11 years old and nobody wanted to talk about it. It was trying to be a teenager having lost my father and I knew in high school that I wanted to give people a place to talk about things that nobody else wanted to talk about. And so my path of getting there was a little diverse and then I started as a special education teacher, became a parent educator, mom. I created Authenticity Architecture as a way to put everything together that I've done in my life. So I put it all together, use a lot of the inner child, child development pieces. I always say my children are my divine teachers. We learn so much from the innocence of kiddos. It's really important to pay attention to what it means to live on this planet right now with integrity and respect and truth. All the old school parenting pieces are all shame-based belief systems. And so what I've learned, the big aha, and now we have research, brain research that shows us the right brain doesn't fully develop if we don't have what we need in the first three years, which especially at the very beginning is nonverbal. So yay that they're saying you can't hold a baby too much. Yay that they're saying it's not okay to hit a kid. Really, we have research to prove that. Authenticity architecture is recreating the authentic self. Let's dig up some of the old stuff that doesn't work for us anymore and recreate something that's really who we are. I wanted to do the right thing as a mom and I wanted to be real. And the two good mother is somewhat an archetype of perfection. I wanna really be a good mom and, and I did. I mean, I was young when Elizabeth was born. I was only 21. And I had been trained in special education, so I wanted to figure out how to be a really good mom. And I just couldn't get enough information. And so when I started teaching what I had learned, and I realized this theme, this phenomenon, it really was going on about women not feeling good enough. Um, I did my doctoral dissertation on that and then wrote the, published the book and I do workshops and retreats. They can't figure it out by just reading a book. They have to feel into what's that experience of, of shifting these old patterns and uh, coming into this new parenting paradigm.